We are in the balcony area of the Lincoln Cultural Center, Melody Dawn Adams, Ryan Burleson, with First and Fright Paranormal. We're actually up here in this particular area. There's a lot of folks who get creeped out on this side. That was a horn that gets creeped out on this side of the theater for some reason. This is uh, one of the chairs we're sitting right here next to it where we've heard twice. A child that sounds like a child jumps out of a chair, it moves, and you hear footsteps take off running. So on the floor, you see, um, you see a K2 meter there on the left, you see a REM pod on the right, and right next to that pole there is a recorder. We're looking, we're just looking to speak to anybody that's up in this balcony. Maybe you can't leave the balcony. Maybe this is, you know, maybe this is where you reside. Maybe this is where you hang out at all the time and you never leave it. We really want to know who's in this theater. Who's in this balcony? In front of us there's a red light. That sound is traffic you're hearing. If you could touch that red light and let us know that you're up here. Or touch the green light. We're not using a flashlight uh, here recently. We're just trying to stick with some of our devices that are more solid. Uh, but we're also trying to do legitimate EVP sessions during these which is why we're not using the spirit box. Is there any little children up here in the balcony? We're not here to hurt you. We're not here to harm you. We're not going to be mean. We just want to talk. Okay, Dawn's going to take a few flash photography photos. You may see those in the IR lights. Keep in mind, guys, that what you know what you're seeing on camera is all IR lights that's built in around everything we're doing. So it's pitch dark to us. It's pitch black. All we see is the recorder blinking, a red light, and a green light. That's all we see, which is what you see directly in the middle of the screen. Is there anybody up here for church service? <clears throat> Are you looking for a friend? That's Dawn moving around. I'm sorry. Okay. You're hearing traffic outside. I guess it's a night for the loudest cars in Lincoln County to go by. Do you feel safe here? 
Make a noise if you feel safe here. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Mark that for the recorder. It sounded like someone just popped a knuckle, literally, across the balcony from us. That was a very definitive sound. Is someone over there? Taking a few more pictures across across the way just to see what we can capture. I'm gonna move the camera just a second, guys, see if we can if we can kind of zoom in on that spot over there. It was right in that area right there. I know you guys can't see it. You can see the banister across the way from us. But right in there at those seats, sound like someone popped their knuckles. Is that what you do during church is you pop your, your knuckles? Can you make that sound again? Come sit in one of the seats with us. Knock on one of the walls. Walk across the banisters. Just let us know that you're with us. Can you turn on some of the lights, some of the studio lights? I wonder if we take, if we take that REM pod mm -hmm. and take it around over there and set it like right here on the ledge. It's on the other side opposite of us? Directly opposite of us. Okay. If we set it in the floor, we won't be able to see it. We'll just be able to hear it. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think we can set it in the seat. No, slide back. Yeah. I'll take it. Well, uh, we're going to take the REM pod out of the equation. That's me picking it up. We're going to get that put over there and then come back. Yeah, that'll work.
always feel like I just, you want to see somebody losing. Yeah. You want to see something. Okay, so we put the rim pod over there on that side of the balcony. Just so you know, we can't see the seats, we can't see you, but we know you can see that red light. All you have to do is get near it or touch it. And it'll beep. You just heard it beep in Dawn's hands. You notice it did not hurt her. It will not hurt you. What's your name? We'd like to tell... Everybody, while you're here, we'd like to learn why you're here. And Kathy and Deanna, all the people that work here, they feel you in the building almost all the time. Come talk to us while we're here. So that you guys can see the REM pod across the way. You can see the red light right there. You can see it on camera. That's what we're waiting on. It's around Thanksgiving time. Tell us what you're thankful for. What would a spirit be thankful for? If we ask you a question, that you want to answer, just touch the red light and then back away from it. That's how we know you're here and that's how we know we can talk to you and that you're here speaking back to us right now in current time. Did you have a family? traffic did you have children Do you miss your family? What would you like to tell your family that is still living? If it's true that spirits can get trapped in a building, we hope you would agree this is a pretty cool building to be trapped in, right? But 
sound like a step on stage. Well, we hope you spoke into our recorder. We look forward to listening to it. Hope we got some responses from you. Thanks for taking the time out to speak with us. If you're watching this video, folks, be sure you subscribe. A lot more coming your way.